In the next series, I'm going to be using the Vue.js framework here, and I'm going to connect to two different databases in this case. The first one I'll connect to will be a MySQL database here, and it's going to be a local one. So in this case, I'm going to be using, as you can see down here, I'm going to use MAMP, or you can use VAMP or XAMP or whatever you're using to create this. But again, it's the local part I'm going to be using. And that also means we have to look into what's called cores, uh, but I'll explain that later on. So grabbing the data and actually allowing the browser to use the data and so on. That's one part. And the next part, we need to use some PHP to use SQL statements to drag out information from our SQL database. And then we'll convert that with our JSON encoder. And then we'll grab this information with our view framework and present it on a page. Now this also means we have to install some plugins. Um, and for the first one, we need Axios here. I'll show you that later in the videos, but that's one of the plugins, plugins we're going to be using. The other one will be Firebase plugin when once we actually switch it around and connect to Firebase instead of MySQL. But these two plugins will be what we're going to do. Um, just gonna show you how hopefully it'll look at the end. I just continued from my product page, so if you complete that, then you can do the same, or you can start over, that's really up to you. But as you can see, this is the same one as I showed you in the last couple of videos. But instead of creating something new, I'm gonna reuse all the name routing and so on, so we just switch things around and make new components for this. And what I'm gonna do is I grab something called a world database uh, from online. I'll link this quill file in my description downstairs, downstairs at the, in the description, so you can use this as well. But let's just go to somewhere, let's go to, yeah, Madagascar. So as you can see, it just goes to the, uh, the what's that country code that's going to be using as our URL, uh, our route here. And then we're grabbing the information from each individual country to present that and not all of the countries. So very similar to what we did in here, but we're using an actual database now compared to the other. So this is what we're going to be going through in the next couple of videos. See you then.